What's up you guys, welcome to the Single Guy channel. Let's say you're talking to a girl, be it at a party, a social event, or maybe you just met her on the street randomly. Let's say you're talking to her and then you ask her what she does for a living. It's a pretty common question. Uh, you ask her and she says that she is, um, I don't know, a marketing manager for like a software company. So let's say she's a marketing manager for a software company um, and then you wanna talk to her more. You wanna get her to open up to you a little bit. So you ask, well, do you like being a marketing manager or a software company? Now, this is a pretty common question that a lot of guys ask and it's not a terrible question. Um, it, it shows that you're interested in her, you care about her thoughts and feelings, um, and it allows her to tell you a little bit more about herself. However, a lot of times when you ask this question, typically the answer that you're gonna get is, yes, I like it, or no, I don't like it. It's usually get like a one word answer, and it's really tough to work with that after, and the conversation kind of dies down, and you don't have much to work with. So another question that you could ask is, well, uh, why did you choose? to be a marketing manager for a software company. Some people ask that when they say, why did you choose that? And this isn't a bad question either. It's not terrible. Um, it allows her to open up as well. Again, you're being interested in her. And it eliminates the possibility of that one word answer that we got before, which was the yes or the no. Now she's expanding and she has to tell you. Now, I find this might be a good question for girls that are very open, for girls that are very comfortable and extroverted and comfortable talking about stuff with other people. However, most girls that I know that you'd ask this question to, they usually give an answer of, I don't know, I'm not sure, or I just applied and I got in. So this is, the reason why this is, is because why is kind of, why is a little bit of a judgmental question? And it's also like, you know, you're kind of giving her an interview or something like that. And it also gets people, you know, you might not intend for this to happen, um, but a lot of people, when they get this question, they start doing a lot of soul searching. They start thinking, well, why did I choose to be a marketing manager for a software company? How did I get here? You know, like a lot of people, a lot of people ask these questions of themselves um, when you give the why question. It's a little bit too open-ended. So what I think that you should ask, what I think is the best question to ask after this is, so let's say she says, I'm a marketing manager for a software company. Then you say, oh cool, how did you get into that? Now the how is a little bit better than the why and a little bit better than do you like it because it eliminates the possibility of a one word answer and it allows her to tell a story because it's telling her, telling her to uh, basically tell you what were the events that kind of led you up to this point. Um, it's not doing it in a judgmental fashion so she doesn't have to do any soul searching. Um, it's just a pretty straightforward set of steps and it gives you a lot of information to work with. For instance, she could say, well, um, when I was in college, I majored in psychology and I really enjoyed learning about people but at the same time, I wanted to make money. So I wanted to use what I learned in psychology and apply it into the real world and into business. And that's why I chose being a marketing manager for a software company. So right there, there's a lot of stuff for you to work with. You could ask her about her college. What college did you go to? You asked her about majoring in psychology. Oh, what did you like about psychology? How did you get into that? That's another, that's another question that you could ask for right there. Um, and it tells you kind of like the story of her progression and everything. You're learning a lot about this person, you have a lot to work with, and you can keep the conversation going a lot better than if you would ask the other questions that I had stated previously. So my recommendation for you guys is to use these how questions when you're speaking to people. Uh, I think they help out a lot, and I think they're gonna make your conversations a lot better. So thanks a lot, you guys. If you made it to the end of this video, consider subscribing. I come up with videos like this every single week, trying to provide value for you, and good luck out there.